Hey everyone, welcome into episode 21 of Tivoli Zoo. Um, I know it's been a long while, which is pretty much par for the course uh, on this uh, channel, but there's good reason for that. I mentioned in the last episode we were going to have another guest builder, uh, or builders in this case, um, and we're, we're l really lucky today. We actually have like the king and queen of Planet Coaster on uh, <laughs> the channel. Um, so I'll welcome in Haribu and Mrs. Haribu, or is it Haribo? I never know the right it's, pronunciation. It's, it's Haribo. Hello. <laughs> Hi. And also Planet Zoo, not Planet Coaster, but yeah. Oh, did I say Coaster? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's because, you know why? It's because I went back and uh, binge-watched um, Planet Bro Coaster over the last couple weeks, oh. and I'm just feeling a little totally bit nostalgic for uh, for Planet Coaster. So all this chatter, too, about Planet <laughs> Coaster 2 has got me uh, thinking about it. So, um, mm -hmm. And we're also uh, joined by one of my favorite builders in Planet Zoo um, and also in Planet Coaster, Remnant. <laughs> Hello. Welcome. Um, so this this whole area, I thought it would be helpful to show uh, the master plan again, since it has been a while. Um, and so this, what Christina, um, Haribo, and Remnant worked on was this section here at the top, which is called the Peaks to Prairie Pavilion. Uh, and it's a part of this overall area that we worked on, uh, or Lion worked on last time. So you had the African Forest Pavilion, um, and it's all part of something called Into the Wild um, as a part of the master plan. This is the area that by far has the least amount of um, specifics in, inside of the master plan. Uh, mm -hmm. I think it was sort of, uh, yeah, we'll get to that someday, but we need to sort of round out the entire plan. And so, um, you know, if we zoom in a little bit closer, we can see kind of the inspiration for the interior uh, of this building. Um, you know, it's similar to some of the other exhibits. There's an education satellite for like groups and, and school programs and things like that. And then you've got outdoor yards here for, for different species of animals. So you can see that the, um, uh, the, the targeted animals for this plan are the cougar, wolverine, um, some other uh, potential predator as well and then you've got some prairie dogs um, and then on the inside I think there's uh, an owl species as well um, so and it's all part of this huge plaza that connects over to the African savanna exhibit which we'll see in a second um, and then the really the only sort of visual uh, inspiration that is available that I gave to you guys to work with is this picture here um, which it's really hard to orient orient yourself inside of the zoo um, just looking at this picture. You have to go back and forth constantly. Uh, and then there is some interior concept. And um, I know there was some challenges here with that, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it was, I mean, it was fun. And uh, I hope you're, you're happy with the result. But oh, I'm, insane. I'm sure I will be. I have zero doubts. Um, so cool. So that is a, just an overview of the master plan, the area that um, I tasked them with working on, and uh, we'll get a good view here. So I know one of the things I also ask, since you know Christina, you are the sign queen, um, I did ask you to take a look at a couple of signs. So I know the first one is right. Oh wow! How do you do that? How do you do this? <laughs> You, one pieces as usual. Oh my gosh, that is crazy. I, I've. Do you have other signs like this where it's like negative, uh, like the negative no, space of the, the letters? No, it's the first one I made like this. Oh my gosh, that's just casually so the first cool. one. Yeah, and I love like the little <laughs> chains here, kind of holding. It's so this would be like a canvas material, kind of. Yes. Nice. Yes. That's, that's so insane. cool. I, I think it's kind of fitting. It's not uh, very complicated, but still. Pulls right. Yes, it does. And it fits. It's more like what I had here before was so like cartoonish. So <laughs> <laughs> this is so much better. It definitely fits in with the uh, um, the general aesthetic of like the architecture that Lion worked on and everything. So that's awesome. Yeah, It's really nicely done. That's definitely an area I struggle with is the, the signage and things like that. So um cool so should i just go down this path is there anything like in that area i should go to first over by the savannah or uh, should i just round no, this ac bend here actually I, I didn't touch a restaurant okay um i just touched the foliage in front of the restaurant okay, which perfect. was basically the just a uh, reef yep right or or, or reed or yep. whatever and um yeah i, I just uh, make it fit to the rest so uh, we don't have to walk there it's still the same 
Perfect. Well, I can already see something that I've been really, really excited about, and that is the, so the carousel cover. <laughs> like, so I'll put up a photo of what the the actual one in the Denver Zoo, or a couple of photos, so that people understand like the level of details that you guys uh, are able to accomplish uh, in the game. Um, but <laughs> I, it's like already true to life. Oh my god. <laughs> it's not only the cover it's, it's the, oh, the carousel so yeah christina did an awesome job with that thing oh my god yes. that is insane so, oh and the birds the right yeah. <laughs> so the cover is uh, completely pulled from denver zoo okay um uh, but i didn't really like the carousel it's kind of outdated and not that pretty so i went with my own design and uh, used the cover from Oh, insane yes that is unbelievable <laughs> i cannot believe this i mean and you've got like the zoo animals in here oh my god yeah, harry but made animals okay made the rest god that is incredible crazy insane the details on this and you've even got like various plant species on the inside here mm -hmm. oh my god and also just the inner workings of like the like the mechanics like on the top like all of the... No way, you did that too. It's just oh insane. My God. <laughs> it's insane. Oh my. Like, and it's all on the proper level and everything. Oh my Ugh, God. I tried at least. That is nuts. I cannot believe you put in like the actual mechanics for how yeah. how it would function. That is so cool. It, it yeah. I mean, half of the work is always the the research, and she is so good at that, and uh, also the ability to actually create it then. It's just insane. Uh, yeah. I'm like speechless. This is so beautiful. Um, I can't like, so, so you mentioned this was like your own design. Did you just pull from various carousels or did you like just, I mean, obviously you themed it. I love like the birds and the, the plant species and stuff. Like what did you, um, what did you use as reference for inspiration? Um, I looked up, uh, Many, just many carousels and tried to uh, think what could look uh, the best uh, in this uh, in this position and uh, I don't know I just uh, also really liked the idea of uh, bird medallions so mm. I created mm. four different no I didn't make the illustrations I found them uh, but I recreated them and I think it fits very nicely because um, usually zoo, zoo carousels have animals on them mm -hmm. obviously and <laughs> it's very hard to um, create something on a small scale which looks very nice and birds fit very good I think gosh that is yeah, nuts well, perfect auto save um, that <laughs> is so gorgeous I'm like floored by this i can't believe you did this <laughs> i hope it's not too out of the style no uh, i, I just thought maybe they commissioned a new carousel for renovation of the series That's perfect yeah i don't think it is at all i mean i think it all um you know it, i think it's one of those things where the to me when i look at this i think that the the carousel it would be still be older than the cover like the cover is newer than the carousel is how i would i would mm -hmm. view this um and i think it okay. makes perfect sense so um <clears throat> and even these details here like are incredible god crazy what even are these pieces okay i, I forgot something <laughs> god that is so north, good north african pack i think but gorgeous this is so pretty oh my god and i just now saw that <laughs> uh -huh. the, what is that is this like the actual train that's that's the actual denver oh zoo um, pioneer god, train dude yeah. so this looks like just one piece yeah this looks like a 3d modeled train engine <laughs> oh my um, god and you yeah, got the, the uh whistle pole and everything and the bell <laughs> God. So it's also perfectly in scale. That's why it doesn't fit on the Planet Zoo okay. uh, train tracks. Um, and the idea could be that they um, exchanged the track itself to have another model. And okay. they kept this one from... Uh, I got, oh gosh, I, I wrote down the, the company name on the other side. <laughs> so <laughs> uh, so they, they kept the model because I can imagine it's um, oh, quite... Oh, CP Huntington, yeah. N no, that's the model. And Chance oh, rides. Oh, uh, here. Ooh. Oh my God. Yeah. Chance rides. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah, we found we found the the company that produces 
those and uh, also the, the actual plans. Yeah, so. they very helpfully have uh, a plan with all the measurements on the site. So. <laughs> oh my god, wow. that's so cool. Yeah, I mean, this is the kind of thing that would totally, because um, I'm not sure about in Europe, but in, in the US, um, there's a lot of historical societies that um, typically get involved when when things change at, at historical sites. And then there's even, um, I think it varies probably by state and city, but there's also uh, certain buildings that have like historical status that can't be demolished or can't be, um, you know, can't be renovated in certain ways. Um, so this is very much in line with like if they were to make a change for whatever reason, you know, maybe they couldn't service it anymore or whatever, um, that they would preserve it in some fashion like this. That's really cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. I can't believe Incredible. you made this. <laughs> <laughs> you're, uh, you're, you make, uh, give wings and strings a run for his money from <laughs> the yeah. flat coaster days. I mean, that, I think he has the, the most trained knowledge of any human on the planet, but uh, that's really, really impressive. It's awesome. I need to look on the inside too, because I know you didn't leave that. Oh my god! <laughs> it's quite, quite simple, but yeah. Well, and I love the scale of it too, because like an adult, their head would be like well above mm -hmm. the, yeah. the little thing. Yeah. Like their hands would just be under here controlling the train. So that's awesome. Exactly. That's why I was so irritated by the Planet Zoo train. Yeah. Uh, so big. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm really surprised that, I mean, I, at this point, I don't think we're going to get um, any rides like a, an animal carousel or anything like that. Is that a common yeah, thing in not. Europe um, or the UK? No, Do, no, no okay. actually not. So it's a very uh, American not in, thing. Not in Germany, at least. Okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we're not uh, going to get it. <laughs> Remnant, wouldn't you agree that that's pretty common at a lot of zoos in America? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. 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 I was wondering, is it uh, included in the price of a zoo ticket or is it a separate thing? Usually, so at the Denver Zoo, if you're a member, you get like two free rides a year um, uh, oh. for like each <laughs> member. And then other than that, though, it's usually like, uh, I don't know what the prices are, but you know, it's usually a couple bucks to go on the carousel or, oh. and, and the train. So it's an additional revenue maker oh. for them. So I, I put a, a small counter next to the oh, carousel yeah, right here. and I, I wasn't sure what it's for. It, it has like a controlling mechanism okay, this person underneath the desk but uh, i thought maybe it's also help or something but yeah but, okay take it so too that's so awesome. i'm missing a sign okay <laughs> no no that's no, that's totally fine. i mean t so tip like i know at the denver zoo if you want to ride the train or the carousel um you right like now most of the stuff's all through an app so you just buy the the mm -hmm. ticket for the carousel or the train in the app right um okay. but yeah so that's totally totally fine but really really pretty do you guys have um are you have you hidden like those waypoint things in here so that people come and look at this um there's there's one vista point yeah okay awesome or vista point yeah thank you that's so beautiful no and i love i mean i haven't even like commented on the the plaza here um very much like this is this was at something that i was oh my I need to like focus on what's in the, the <laughs> what's, what's in the like uh, focus. in my near in my like I can't think of words you guys have me speechless like uh, I need to stop looking off in the horizon there you go um, just need tunnel vision right, right now. exactly exactly yeah, concentrate focus um, <laughs> but like the, this was something I was really struggling with because I had I mean a lot of this area was I want to go back up here because you mentioned you changed some foliage because like a lot of this was very much dated to the early, early game and I know Remnant you you are currently doing this in Balboa where you're going yeah. back and just redoing stuff because you can there is a distinct um there's distinct time shifts where, yeah. <laughs> you know, you can see we have more assets. We have really Frontier has given us more of the things we'd like to have. Um, and, right. and it was the same in, in Planet Coaster, um, but it does necessitate yeah. going back to things. Mm -hmm. So what I, what I did is basically just uh, use the trims from, from the plaza I created and uh, also took some of the foliage to, to just make it fit. So, yeah, they, uh, this was this was something on the list for me was to redo this foliage because it did, um, it, you know, the reeds just were super outdated, especially because we have so many more grasses now in the game. Um, yes, absolutely. But this all, what is this? Um, oh, How is it called? Because that blue stem something. Okay. Yeah, yeah, blue stem. Big, yeah, big blue stem. Yeah, that's very much like the type of grass you would see in Colorado. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's pretty it's, we, we can be pretty arid and it's a lot of like oops uh it's a lot of um plains mostly so that kind of yeah. foliage so this is beautiful 
um, and great transition. I haven't even turned around yet. I'm not going to. Uh, great transition to the backstage. <laughs> you, don't, so. you don't want to address the elephant in the room. Yeah, not yet. <laughs> No, yeah. All right. So this is, you know, you did a really, really great job of um, of making this feel more more in tune with a lot of the newer stuff in the zoo. So like now to me, this area doesn't feel um, it's not as jarring to be in this area as compared to like the Toyota Elephant Passage. Um, right. It feels more like not necessarily that they were built at the same time, but just that it's in the same world, if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna turn around now. And where's where should I go from? Actually, um, I, there I know, is, I know the there is a little. If you if you if you go, uh, there is an arch next to the carousel. Right here. Um, if go you under just, that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then down down the staircase. And uh, if you look up oh now, you have it. God. <laughs> Oops! I accidentally hit pause. We gotta get people moving here. Oh my god, that is unbelievable. Insane. <laughs> <laughs> I was so um I don't know if people remember but I was like trying to do this at one point with actual terrain um so are you, so is this a mix of terrain and pieces or did you just um, just use I the mean, foliage mostly You you told me that you want people to fly fly around mm -hmm. and I had a perfectly um thin terrain um cover but the, the problem is it disappears uh, as soon as you okay. get like 50 meters oh. away. So um, I had half of it done, but uh, then I realized, nope, that's not going to work. <laughs> Man, so, I started crying. I'm glad you stopped. <laughs> um, so I came up with those um, grass um, panels and the, the actual um, buffalo grass. Is... And it's not that piece heavy. It's it's probably three hundred patches of buffalo grass. Wow. And, yeah. And it's kind maybe, of insane. And and maybe fifty uh, of those um, panels. That's so. so impressive. God, that is so gorgeous. I cannot believe that. Like, to <laughs> to capture the the true vision of the concept like this is insane. Yeah. And if, yeah. You, if you look at it for for a long time, this red is still kind of a pain in somewhere and uh but i mean <laughs> they painted it like this and um uh, yeah I mean, yeah you get used to it kind of and, and it's a nice contrast um yeah i mean and much of so uh, this whole area would definitely i mean since it is peaks to prairie i mean it would definitely be heavily based on even though there's multiple peaks and prairies across the world like it obviously would be heavily based <laughs> on colorado and we do have we do have these red um, rock outcroppings, you know, kind of peppered around the state in different areas. And in general, mm -hmm. the soil can be quite red. I mean, Colorado is color red. Um, okay. So that's that's where I think they had the inspiration for the color. But so it is a little bit jarring. I agree. Like especially as you transition away from the savanna, but it definitely fits in. Especially once you start seeing these pines and things like that. Um, it's really really beautiful and then yeah. i don't want to like i don't want to skimp on this whole plaza area either i mean this is a really um beautiful design because one of the challenges with this is that it needs to be a plaza but it also you can see the elevation drops down slowly yeah. to to this area so this is a beautiful solution um to that problem especially maintaining this sort of main plaza here with the train yeah, also mm -hmm. the, the color shift is uh, quite essential, so it doesn't feel too big. Um, so we have the white uh, on the restaurant level, then we go Oh, to, I didn't uh, even notice that. Super smart. Um, so, so white. doesn't... F white, beige, and red tone. That's really smart. It's almost like a very natural, like, gradient. Yes. Like, you don't even really notice it until you point it out, which is really cool. Yeah. That's super smart design. I did not even notice that until you pointed it out. But yeah, that's <laughs> it. Just it is a nice transition visually. And then I love just like the use of of these pieces here on the trees. That's mm -hmm. actually a path. Um, oh, it is. The, oh, yeah. Okay. It's path. Yeah. It's a path super barrier smart. from the uh, Australian path, I think. Oh, that's awesome. Really that's smart. Native planters. So. Uh, this area, I know when we did like our little um, planning session, we talked about the challenges here. So, do the the prairie dogs use these things over? Yes, yes, oh my they do. God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
That is nuts. <laughs> and the peeps actually come down here too. Oh my God. And you even got all three paths. Cause I told you, I was like, you don't have to do all three. Just like get, mm -hmm. if you can get some path, there they go. Oh my God. Yeah, this is a bit glitchy spot. <laughs> yeah. A bit, of, a bit glitchy, but um, it's working. I mean, the it's fact that- It's insane that you guys were able to do this. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the fact that it does work is nuts. And I love the um, the way you brought the the concept art into reality because it doesn't the concept art doesn't show any supporting functions whatsoever. I mean, it just is a sort of arch. So the fact that you have this nice wood support system that would be, I mean, theoretically, it'd probably be treated timbers and then um, like reinforced concrete, and then you'd have your soil on top of that. So that's really really smart. Yeah, we have. Still, I had some uh, struggle to believe that this would work because people could easily reach up and, and oh uh, yeah and touch them yeah so this is where this is where like not even touch because <laughs> a lot of zoos are complaining that their animals are get stolen especially oh. when they're cute so uh, I installed some cameras uh, <laughs> where, are the, where are the cameras uh, on the on the right there is a white one uh, it's uh, on the oh, on the yeah. rock on the rock in, in the background. The taller rock. The oh, oh, right there. Yeah. Oh my God, that's awesome. <laughs> so um, just in case. Uh, and over here. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yep. <laughs> and there, there should be one in the back, but uh, never mind. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. I mean, that is something. Oh, and then so this would be for kids to go underneath and get mm -hmm. into these little bubbles. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, that's really and that cool. sign too to the left uh, yes <laughs> crazy yeah and you using lions uh signs uh, that are already around the zoo too yes i um, used it as a template and made it a bit smaller um so it doesn't feel that tall okay. and uh, made custom very simple images for all the animals uh, cool. uh, we built habitats for yes and uh, i think i hope <laughs> <laughs> no it looks fantastic um and this is where this is where like uh, the you know the the reality of something like this actually functioning is where you kind of you kind of blur the lines between what would actually happen and uh, the the design. I mean, because designers aren't zoologists, so they're not like <laughs> thinking about this kind of stuff, right? I mean, I'm sure they when they do a master plan. Oh, and you've got that one in there too. When they do a master plan, they. Um, they consult a little bit, but you know, there's, mm -hmm. has, have you guys seen that meme? I've shared it on Bro Nation before where it's like the concept art and then it's like after the initial design meeting and then like after budget cuts and it shows, yes. it shows it's like this beautiful thing and then it gets down to like two blocks. Like, so sad. Yeah, and that's that's something that, you know, like if we had Eben on right now, he would be like, actually, you can't do that because of this. Uh, uh, <laughs> so, actually, you can right. though. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, but but I also like the challenge to to just um, create this or, or uh, recreate this concept art. Yes, it was just so much fun. It's really cool, and I love the just back here. You start to take in the rest of the zoo, and now that it feels feels more put together, like getting very close to um, having a full fledged finished product. So this uh, and then yeah. the view of the downtown, so cool. Yeah, Haribo made sure that all of the sidelines oh are God. preserved and perfect. And yeah. you can always <laughs> see the, the skyscrapers. Yeah, I, I mean, this view right here, that's probably it's probably thumbnail, maybe. That, yeah, that's like, or, a, that's like a postcard or, right there. Right, yeah, the, the, the train station and the... And we haven't even... Mm -hmm. Okay, so before we go in here, I'm going to go back to the train station and make sure <laughs> can, that we... Can you, can you wait a sec? Yes. Uh, yeah, can yeah. you zoom in? No, no, uh, go back to the... Can you zoom in on the... On the um, Skyline. Oh yeah, that's right. We'll have to go outside of the zoo because I asked you to do one other thing. Oh my god. Um, so there is so next for everyone's point of reference. So um, Denver Zoo sits next to City Park, and then City Park uh, sits right next to one of the main high schools in Denver, and it's this beautiful building. Um, you know, back when we used to make pretty things uh, in America, it's this beautiful <laughs> historical building. Um, and so I asked you guys to, to recreate that, uh, as well. So, uh, we'll go out and check that out. I've seen some photos of that cause I don't think you hid them, but, um, I saw like your first go at it. So I'm excited to get a better view, but that's gorgeous. Yeah. I mean, it, it was, um, I think an eight hour session for that high school. Oh my not, God. <laughs> try to, to not to put too many details in because it's still a background building. 
<laughs> oh, God, so. this is so cool. Yeah, also the train station. I, I wasn't too sure what you want to do with it, so... Uh... This is perfect, honestly. This is... I, I didn't really want to go outside of what, they, what already existed here. Um, mm -hmm. You know, you could have done some sort of theming, but... I do like that this is sort of its own neutral space relative to like the theming of the savannah and then the theming of this area. Um, oh God, I need to stop. Like seriously, <laughs> seriously. Uh, so so, so sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. So I, I didn't um, put put too um, too much details in it. Just also, I, I didn't know how the queue would work. So mm -hmm. I left it kind of open, um, and the only thing I really like is that I was able to spread this queue that far, so you can't even see those um, queue pillars. Oh wait! Oh yeah! So you enter in over here. Oh, really smart. Yeah. So, uh, so it's I think 11 meters uh, okay. between those poles. And, okay. Uh, the only downside. Oh, is this. So this is the full entrance yeah, to the queue. That, uh, oh, crazy! Oh my god. Yeah. So you use the free build to do that then, right? Of so, course. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> oh wow. So that so underneath each of these pillars is the, those annoying little uh -huh. uh, yeah. bollards or whatever they are. Uh, yeah. crazy. And and I remember from um, Planet Coaster times it, it was always the biggest struggle to hide those. <laughs> uh, right. or even the entrance gates. So um, yeah. That My is first super time struggling. smart. <laughs> that is a super smart problem. way to do that, though. I mean, if we if we would have had uh, that free build mod for Planet Coaster, I mean, gosh, mm -hmm. the possibilities is crazy to Oof. think. Yeah, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I mean, this is this is perfect because this is really there. There isn't, from what I remember, there isn't really that much of a queue. Like you just kind of when it's your time to go next, you just kind of get on. <laughs> I mean, mm -hmm. uh, it's not like a very formal ride experience like you would see at like an amusement park or something. So this is perfect, right. and I love just how it's just a part of the plaza. Um, yeah. Really beautiful work. God, that's so cool. And I love that, you know, again, I'm obviously going to geek out on like the practical details too. Like I love this, this <laughs> fence here. I love how you, you sunk it down below the plaza and um, it's part of the, you know, you've got this retaining wall that goes around as well. Um, and then even the detail of having a pass through um, track yeah. here is really smart too. Mm -hmm. uh, I also, um, since you mentioned it, um, I, I started um, the uh, water flow underneath the whole area oh, so okay if you if you turn to the right there is a little j just a minor detail um, oh sweet awesome really smart yeah yeah a little passage oh and this you know really well retained also with all these rocks and stuff too for erosion Crazy. and yeah so um w this this will come into play a lot more people will see when i start working outside the zoo over here um basically the way that water would flow through this whole area is it would first collect in the big pond up in the park and then there's a secondary pond which is that that um where the the bird island is um just on the other side of uh Toyota elephant passage so that's like the secondary overflow then it would have to make its way through the zoo somehow and then on the outside of the zoo um over here there's like a huge 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 collecting pool um that's it's empty 99 percent of the time it's only if these three areas can't hold the water it all overflows down there so um that's perfect because that will give me kind of my basis point for for bringing that stuff outside the zoo nice awesome okay so go inside uh, we can also uh, look at the Bear Mountain. Oh, yes. So I can't believe it. Like this looks, I'm, I'm going to have to put up a photo of this because um, this is like, you nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> God, I mean, that... it, it could be uh, a bit more detailed, but, but still you have a project that is so loaded and I want it to be <laughs> as peace friendly as, as possible. I mean, it's uh, perfect. It's, uh, I don't, I wouldn't change anything about it. I mean, it's, um, it immediately, anyone who's been to the Denver Zoo and knows this piece of history will immediately recognize it. Yeah. And, and in the, in the, um, concept art, they, they said something about be a researcher zone. Let's go down. Um, uh, and, uh, I didn't have too many ideas, <laughs> so I just, um, Oh, yeah, that's really cool plaque. That's really cool. 
Um, so we basically, or, um, I just made a like a sandbox in front of it, so you you can. Oh, so kids uh, could play in it. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh my gosh, that's cute. <laughs> that's so and, cool. Wow. <laughs> and the interactive part also for the guests here uh, would be this entrance to the former um, bear holding. Oh, oh my and god! Wow, I can't believe you here. did this. And if you look up, you have the actual. Um, Light. Oh, what would have been the interior of the and supporting? I don't know the, if it, the concrete. Yeah, I mean, I think I it's. If, I think it was hollow and filled filled in somewhat. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, that that that's what I thought as well. So uh, you also on the back, but we come to that later. You see some um, some old building um, stuff. So uh, remainings of the old building. So we met, we kind of already touched on this, but like with the the idea of the train being a historical piece. So um, in the master plan, this this is uh, specifically a protected historical structure, um, and it's one of the first uh, it's one of the first structures in the in any U.S. zoo that was um, really based on trying to to theme uh, a habitat. And they actually went up into the Rocky Mountains and took casts of the rocks um, oh, and wow. then came back down and, and uh, cast concrete uh, to create this structure for the bears. Um, so that's why it's sort of protected, uh, protected monument. So it had to be preserved as a part of this plan. Nice. Really cool. Yeah. You it. also can imagine that where, where the edges, that this would be the, the original border to the... Um, enclosure right so, mm -hmm. with the fences yep so awesome. i love the i love the stark contrast of like the like that that more gray rock work with like the, the bright orange yep. rock <laughs> work right in front of it yeah because that's something you totally see well and even the contrast of this old this very old themed structure with this you know right. beautiful <laughs> yes. contemporary building um uh -huh. yeah that's clearly like this would be like a lead platinum building it's got a green roof and like all that kind of stuff so <laughs> yeah Pretty cool awesome well i want to look in here um because i know oh my god you even did that too can they actually get underneath or is this two separate habitats no that that's uh the game mechanics okay don't okay. make that possible so. okay but yes, the idea is uh, in the master plan that uh, this is basically one habitat and they can uh, travel underground uh, between all these three uh, outside holdings and the right. inside. Mm -hmm. Which that in, is, that in and of itself is a really cool uh, concept. Yeah. So. yeah. All right. I can't wait to get in here any, any longer. <laughs> so. Oh, so cool. I did not... I, this is something so like I have no expectations here other than <laughs> like the that sort of top down view and that one photo of concept art. So um, I'm really curious to see how you guys did stuff. So this beavers, obviously mm -hmm. here. Awesome. And if we're lucky, we maybe see one, but <laughs> we're not. which is typical of, of the zoo, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they like walk Very by zoo. and um, but Oh, there we go. Oh, oh that's a fast like, one. <laughs> oh, wait, he's you're really, shouting for me. Okay, here I am. Really thirsty. Look at me. <laughs> oh, that's really that's cool. Funny. I love it. I love that you're, like, before you're even in the main building, you're already getting, um, you're already seeing exhibits. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm guessing just implied implied exhibit here. No, that's a, that's a snake. Uh, it's oh. On the, on the... oh, it's one of the cubes. Oh, oh yeah, it's right there. Cool. Awesome. See, you did look how good you did hiding it. I couldn't even tell that it was <laughs> one of the cubes. <laughs> That's cool. All right. Uh, so, let, let's not um, miss out the detail on the left. Because oh, yeah. This, yeah. <laughs> okay. What is story. parachuting beavers? Uh, yes, so um, Master Plan says a lot about education of this uh, big superiority area and uh, I was trying to find some interesting facts about all animals in here uh, <laughs> and I stumbled, stumbled upon an article on National Geography um, site about uh, parachuting beavers in Idaho in 1948, <laughs> I believe. So uh, when people started moving there, um, they started encountering problems with beavers because we were um, 
flooding the areas and uh, people decided to move the beavers but they couldn't <laughs> do it uh, on cars or something because it was just too far out so they decided to parachute them oh my God. <laughs> into the wild <laughs> and uh, yes they created these crates uh, which open like automatically the moment uh, it touches <laughs> touches down yeah and they How just traumatic yes yeah, seriously yes and they and they threw 78 beavers just uh, <laughs> from from a plane and you can find a video on youtube of that Ooh. just yes easily just parachuting beavers on youtube oh my God. It, it's not that's amazing that's what, yeah. like, this is what is incredible about you guys it's not just like making something come to life but the amount of research you put into this stuff is yeah. is is insane i can't thank you enough like this is so cool and this is these are the kinds of little details that like create um i don't know it's I, i've had this conversation with some of the people who never really got into planet zoo uh compared to planet coaster and that like planet coaster in general feels very alive compared to mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. planet zoo yeah. and it's so much of it depends on how i think how much you uh, are an animal person or a zoo person in general um but this is the kind of stuff that gives like story and life to one of these yeah. projects so thank you that's really cool <laughs> very welcome that's all right help. that's already good <laughs> oh god oh my god this is so cool and you Isn't even got insane? the little like bird here the um oh my god this is so nuts <laughs> i cannot believe this it's it's so close to the concept art it's it's insane how how <laughs> close you guys were able to get it oh my god God, this is wild. I cannot believe like oh and you even got the the two levels for the this is such a smart way to exhibit this. Holy cow. And this is not so for <laughs> reference like th this is not something that's a part of that that concept, right? Like I mean no, you, I, you I asked you specifically to add beavers and you this is so uh, it, cool. Uh, they they have beavers in the concept. Um, okay. But we didn't see how they la layered it or what they were <laughs> planning with it, so uh, I needed to make it up. And so, also, I I don't know if I invented it, but uh, I thought I was very clever. Uh, if you look down, you have a. Um, it could be you're standing right now. You're standing on the water from the beaver itself. Mm -hmm. So look down. So look at the floor. Look at the. Oh, at the oh my yeah. God! Yeah. So <laughs> oh, that's uh, so thought, cool. Could be very nice if this would work but uh I'm not so if they sure. like theoretically they might swim down in mm -hmm. here and you could look down yeah. on top that's a really really clever idea i mean it doesn't so it cool. doesn't work that good with the um how the water works visually um uh, because it totally blocks um, oh yeah you can see like the right. the line yeah, there okay. or whatever but no it's gorgeous i think it's so cool i haven't seen anyone do that that's really smart um, I'm yeah, just, I really like, like the idea. Yeah, I just love how you captured like the two tiers of the of the dam and the skylight too. Like, let's not pass up that. It's freaking yeah. crazy. Yeah. Speaking of light, uh, you gave us the challenge that was basically impossible. We because we had to build against the light, so we have actually uh, almost no natural light in here. Okay. So we had to fake it. Oh, okay. So. Uh, all the light you see in here is basically um, big floodlights okay, or uh, okay. spotlights, um, but it actually works quite good. Which is crazy because this looks like, it looks like a skylight is shining on those trees right now. Mm -hmm. Yes, but you just use in-game light on that. Yeah. Oh my god, that's crazy. <laughs> you guys are wild. Yeah, that's one thing that if I... Oh, and you've got the, the owls in here. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh no! Don't please, please don't zoom in on my head. <laughs> <laughs> no, these are your your beauties, Christina. <laughs> yeah, it's my first ever try of making custom animals, and I think it's the last one. They look great. <laughs> they look great. They look so unimpressed. They're, yeah, they're angry. we can now use angry owl for scale instead of angry. They're so scale. mad. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, this they're is pissed off. so. I was gonna say the. Um, is this path as well that you used yeah with the walls and it's really smart um i was gonna say so if i you know one of the things i think i've mentioned this in a previous episode if one of the things i would do over 
again is reorient the entire zoo 180 degrees um, because <laughs> it, it does it does face uh, currently the the zoo is facing um, south like the in this in T- Tivoli Zoo in reality um, it should be facing north um, like the main entrance should be facing north mm-hmm. so. Uh, and that's that probably would have helped with things like I ran into the same issue in the um, in the uh, uh, tropical discovery because the the way that the skylights are in there for the Komodo dragon should be illuminating the exhibit and instead they just cast shadow. So now I'm gonna steal your light idea and just fake mm-hmm. it. So, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the education on the right is oh, I think yeah. it's those those cards you can flip over. Oh, okay. Yes. Wow. Yeah, so the idea is that prairie dogs are uh, keystone piece, uh, species for prairie, right? Because they dig all the burrows other animals use. Um, mm. So this is an education about that. Basically, you oh, can okay. just flip and see every animal which can use their burrows. Oh, cool. Nice. That's really cool. And then the custom out traced outline again. God, this wow. is all so cool. And then uh, I love the view yeah, from I was just the, about the say, skyline view. Yeah, with that arch there. Yeah, it's so gorgeous. yeah. Both both of those windows are um, basically have a very nice um, sightline. And yeah. I just love the like the even the layers of the rest of the zoo here. Like, yeah, looking further back. I mean, so cool. God, this is so good. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and what I actually used for the um, for the windows is <laughs> this one's like soon. <laughs> He's plotting, plotting his revenge. Uh, sorry, go ahead. Uh, yeah, what I actually used for the big windows is um, the barrier, oh, please, the glass please. barrier. Oh, and, okay. Oh, that's smart. And the the challenge for the entrance was you don't want to have a glass barrier uh, underneath, right? So uh, if you go to the second uh, one. The second arch. Oh yeah! How about, did you put a thin piece of land or something? Uh, you I, I put a thin piece of land on it, oh and um, to prevent um, unintentional terraforming, I put a little path on it. Oh, okay. And then I put wow. put this um, fence on it. God, that's so clever. Because oh um, I'll I'll put up a photo of what I was doing before, um, so you can see how I was struggling. Um, and because I was trying to use the, I think it's like the modern glass wall set. Um, oh, hey there. Oh. Yeah, that's that's a little yeah, bummer of this path because people that's, people are glitching. And that's okay, but um, they're not stuck. Yeah. But uh, I was and I was struggling to get it to to not poke through the mm-hmm. the terrain on above, and that's such a smart idea to use the barriers instead, and especially with the um, the free build mod. Because is it one whole section, or do you, are these like each no, it's, sections it's, here? It's separate sections. Okay, so you, cool. uh, if you delete those poles, you have um, actual little... uh, space in between. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Cool. Gosh, that's so cool. And I love the little like step up here too, because then you, you know, you mm-hmm. do get that cool. That's view the only outside. reason why I did it. That's yeah. the only reason why I so, had the elevation. Yeah, <laughs> down here, yeah, you just barely see, you know, one of the buildings. That's really cool. Wow. God, so much, it, like, so much attention to detail and well thought design. Um, this is great. Okay, I'll go back down here, and then I'm assuming to the we'll go back to the left, but I'm guessing that's sort of the little like show area. Oh, and you did use skunks, nice. Yeah, we had we had a discussion. Uh, I had um, I had otters in here. Okay. So basically, another water habitat, and I, I was kind of bored of it, and also it, it <laughs> um, <laughs> also uh, to to make them uh, dive without the Planet Zoo Plus, it takes a lot of space underneath. Yeah, and it just looked too too massive. There was just too much water, so I went to go to other prairie animals. This is there's so many details in these that it's like it's very easy to miss if you're not looking. Like the little vents up here um, that are so well hidden from you know the majority of the time you're looking, you're not going to see that. Um, even it looks like you've got some pipes or something that are mm-hmm. painted the same yeah. color as the the ceiling um Man. and then just the just the 
the the quality of the landscaping and the rock work in here like immediately transforms you to the rocky mountain region um is so so well done and so i'm guessing christina the reason you were when when that question was asked to do skunks you, that it's because you didn't want to do yeah. another one of these <laughs> yes i had to make two new signs <laughs> but i so, <laughs> So real Let's, quick, I was I was glad you um, I'm glad you did this. I wasn't I wasn't going to say, but there's there's already a fair amount of otters um, in the zoo, so I'm glad you went this route because there's uh, inside the interior that I haven't done yet for the elephant passage. There's a river otter, oh. and then okay. Wyatt also Perfect. Wyatt also put them in um, that uh, coastal exhibit. So I mean, different species right. obviously, but um, I'm glad you went this direction. I think that's really cool. Yeah. Let's. So sorry. What were you gonna say? Yeah, let's not miss the the educational thing on the right. Um, oh yeah, God! See, it's so it's it just like so <laughs> naturally fits in as you would expect. Like it's easy to gloss over it. Yeah, so of course I prepared a bit of something for that too. So, uh, I was researching the prairie dogs, and uh, there are a couple of articles uh, which uh, found out that uh, prairie dogs actually have more complex language uh, when primates and dolphins. And apparently, when they see someone approaching, they can uh, not only say in their own language that uh, that it's a threat, but they can also describe size, speed, color, uh, height. <laughs> As just absolutely everything about uh, a threat uh, approaching. That's crazy. Wow. That's really crazy. Yes. I had no idea. Yeah, but... I mean, we see them all over the place, and they do bark a ton, but I had, <laughs> I had no idea that... Um, they, they, they have that kind of complex language that's really yeah cool. so they can describe that uh it's a tall human approaching <laughs> uh, wearing a blue coat crazy it's, it's that's nuts. so funny <laughs> uh, full-on conversation <laughs> yes and also i read that actually prairie dogs in zoos are not that advanced uh because they don't learn the language um <laughs> inside the zoos, so uh, they learn it in the wild only. So uh, okay. basically, oh okay. these prairie dogs are just dumb. So <laughs> these guys are special. They're, <laughs> they're like, where's my three o'clock meal? It's <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, awesome. That's really cool. I love the organic shape of this area too, with the, the glass kind of curving. Oh, and I didn't even notice that. That's really cool. A little uh, cabin, yeah, wood the cabin there. That's something uh, Christina wanted me to do. Uh, so I'm assuming also, that's more. that's where the keepers would enter. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Nice. God, that's so cool. You just feel it's funny. You're like in this, like I said, really contemporary structure, but you just feel transported to these habitats, um, even though mm -hmm. you're inside another building. It's really well done. And so here's another skylight. I where I tried to get it, uh, no, no, in, oh, inside, inside, the, inside, where I tried to get in uh, as much as um, light as possible, but <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I tried. No, it looks fantastic. You yeah, yeah. I mean, um, I wish. It, I mean, it, this is not never going to happen, but it would be cool if you could. Uh, if you could choose the hemisphere <laughs> as a as a uh, <laughs> custom for the the map you're on, um, be crazy. Yeah. Uh, God. So is and there also, an actual animal? Is it badger? Yeah, in here? there okay. is a badger, and eventually he comes out. In, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, you identified the illustration. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that like, looks exactly like the outline of a badger. There's a tear in Christina's eye. <laughs> Christina's eye now. Yeah. <laughs> Um, also, what's special about this uh, habitat is that the uh, water is actually uh, comes from here and going to the next habitat. So it's uh, one river, uh, and uh, wait, no, no, through, no, it goes oh, here, from the badger here. to the to the skunk, and okay. so it gives you also the opportunity to to just uh, remove the wall in the middle and uh, extend it. So oh, oh, oh no, oh, no. <laughs> hold on, <laughs> secret revealed. <laughs> Uh oh, I think that's not possible. We're gonna have to do. <laughs> We're for trapped like, forever. Right, we'll be right back. There we go. There we go. Um, so in the master plan, those uh, exhibits are um, referenced as flex habitats, so okay. they could they can exchange. Um, oh, cool. The inhabitants all the time. Really cool. So nice. Yeah, that's that's um, 
ever since the Denver Zoo did the so the first habitat where they had the concept of rotating species um, was there he comes. Uh, right pr- away, Predator sorry. Predator Ridge. Oh no! Oh, don't yeah. freeze. Okay. <laughs> Uh, was Predator Ridge and then they did that same concept in Elephant Passage so it's very much that's really cool because it's very much something that they would intentionally add to new exhibits um, yeah. it's like really really good for the animal welfare um, nice it's, again the, so cute. the landscaping is just fantastic and <laughs> you you uh you always discount your landscaping in other videos I've seen and it's so good. <laughs> yeah, it's in, it's Thank incredible. Uh, and I think you know same thing in the um in uh, uh what's the botanical zoo I'm spacing that you guys did with Josh. Broadwell. Uh, yeah, Broadwell. Broadwell. yeah, Broadwell. in Broadwell. I mean, everyone commented on how natural you made the the streams and stuff look. I mean, same thing here. And that's anyone who's messed yeah. around with the stupid water effects in this game oh know, <laughs> know how difficult that is. I mean, it's really cool. Well, and we, we always talk about how, I mean, you just talked about it, Ruble, how like Planet Zoo, it's kind of hard to make it feel alive. Mm-hmm. And I feel like you guys are so good at like <laughs> at making it feel alive yeah. and making it feel like real. Yeah, like so, just take a step back and look at all of these people like... <laughs> like basically face against the glass almost like looking into the the habitat i mean that's as close as you're going to get to making these projects feel like an authentic zoo yeah um really cool yeah also the the guest interaction is a big thing for me so if i if i'm building something i want them to to use it properly okay here it's a bit screwed up but there are actually (laughs) there are actual benches um inside Okay, cool. Uh, so they can sit down here. They can sit down there. And nice. This theater is, I think, that mural. Uh, yeah, that's just insane. That's another thing Christina did. God, that's so good. <laughs> <laughs> and I love this grand stone arch here too. I mean, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm the same way. I I really try to, um, if possible, make things as functional in the game as as can be like i'm in the process now of actually redoing the amphitheater that's a part of the african savannah so that it can actually be an educational uh thing as well um since we have Mm -hmm. those i mean it's as you anyone again anyone who's done that stuff knows what a pain it can be but thankfully the (laughs) the free build does help with that a lot and then another skylight here yeah i'll only put some some um tortoises in but um okay oh yeah (laughs) cute this yeah, I mean, at some point, could, could, be, gonna say could at, be for anything. Yeah, so. I was going to say at some point, I will probably, um, I know there are lots of different, you know, fish mods and things like that, uh, animal mods on the workshop. At some point, I will, um, when I, when the final file gets released, I probably will have like a modded version and an unmodded version so that, you know, be cool. basically you don't have to uh, download a bunch of stuff if you don't want to, but probably will try to include um some modded animals like that into spaces yeah. like this awesome oh wow just keeps going oh you got the rock wall in here too <laughs> gosh yeah. What's this it is little... a very strange concept but uh master plan said that uh, here will be a scaling wall uh, you're supposed to climb and then uh, when you get to the top you can count the chicks in the oh, oh that's cool yeah that's really so. cool i will say this looks this looks better than what was in the concept art. <laughs> I, I like how you guys were able to do this better than what they drew <laughs> oh, and even this clearly is that like blue padded material that they yes. have in like uh, if you go to like a gymnastic school or something or, or yeah. even in i don't know about european elementary schools but like in yeah, american it, elementary it schools this is a staple same. yeah yeah, yeah. Same. oh god that's so cool this is something that would for sure like this is the kind of stuff we would do in america for sure yeah like, <laughs> no doubt um <laughs> That's really cool, though. Uh, I'm going to go. I'm, I don't want to miss the education thing, so I'm going to stay there. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so for the first time in my life, I had to open Zoo Chat uh, because I never built, <laughs> because I never built uh, for Zeus anything before. Uh, and actually, I found this reference from Leaf. So thank you, Leaf. Oh, there we go. 
yes so this is supposed to be like things uh, with uh, a, a foot a foot track right of an animal like footprints yeah and you can press them in the sand and that's really oh my cool. gosh and cute that's really cool yeah just something for kids to get get around and then this yeah. obviously is that education satellite satellite crazy yeah. oh, this is so cool Oh my gosh, this makes the rest of them look like trash. I gotta, <laughs> I gotta go back and and do this. Oh, this is awesome. And even like, so like theoretically, the, the whole point of these education satellites is, is typically a lot of schools will take field trips to the zoo. And so, you know, you would, you would have a session in here with your class and there would be a zookeeper or someone from the zoo that would come mm -hmm. in and give some additional education around the area you're in or some of the species that are here they might even like bring a species in to show the kids up close but then you've you even got some peeks into the the keepers areas too back here it's so That's cool awesome. yeah it's really, you told really us cool. not, not to do the backstage that's why when you look through the doors there is basically oh, yeah. <laughs> nothing Dirt. let me <laughs> let me bash my head against that wall you guys have done enough here so <laughs> That's Something so that cool. I think is really cool, though, is, is you know, you guys have done an incredible job with this, but, and I tried to do this as well, like, it, it still looks very Tivoli, like, it, it doesn't yes. look like a completely different thing, it looks very cohesive with, 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 like, what's already in the zoo, which is really cool. Which, that's probably the hardest thing to do, um, you know, any, any guest builder will probably, uh, you know, re feel the same way that it's, you don't necessarily want to build in your style and someone else's zoo. Right. I mean, it, it typically happens, but um, mm -hmm. it's, it shows a lot of um, breadth of design skill when you can yeah. match someone else's style and do it so well. Yeah. So, yeah, awesome. our, our main goal is um, quality, not a particular sky, uh, style. Right. So, right. Um, yeah, and I think we delivered God. on that. <laughs> yes, God, this is so good too. I so mean, now we now we're coming I'm to finally do become two remnants. remnants part. Yeah. Oh yeah, I did. I did this. Oh, my <laughs> God, remnants, this is, <laughs> dude. I mean, like, I'm sure. I'm sure if we looked at this from the aerial view, this is not that big of a habitat. No, it's crazy small. But it looks like it goes on forever. Um, just the way that you've done the the rock work and the the landscaping here, and then there's the links up there. Yeah. God, and I love how you you get the feel that you're inside of a cave, looking out into this habitat here with the overhang. Yeah, that rocks. main. So this this main rock work, this arch right here, that was Haribo, or you guys already did this arch right here, and then I tried to match all of the other rock work okay. that you see to this little arch that we have right here. Yeah, we we try to find a way so that from the outside you don't see that it's an actual big display. Um, mm -hmm. So. I wanted to to make it look like a, like a um, just a cave that belongs to the habitat, mm, right. and still you have a big view from the inside. So um, yeah, that's basically the best I could come up with. And yeah. I intentionally left those um, those edges between the the glass so you can see that it's glass. Um, mm, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it would be easy to make just a big glass front, right? but I thought mm -hmm. aesthetically it, it it's yeah it's something. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and, really, and really for cool. for remnant the challenge to to um, bring this concept uh, to life on the outside, um, I think he, he did <laughs> the, just an amazing just an amazing job. And um, it was it's the outside was very difficult because there's literally no reference. Mm -hmm. So like, mm -hmm. so I was just Absolutely. going off of like above like the above ground. I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna try and do something that I think would be there. Yeah. So I, before we go outside, I just want to say one of my favorite things about your uh, habitat design is mm -hmm. you don't ignore ground texture and not just, and I'm not mm -hmm. just talking about plants, like the, you've got several different ground tech, like the, the uh, larger rocks and then the river rock and then, you know, different like sand and soil. And then you mix in yeah. foliage. It's just, um, like the amount of patience to do that is, it, <laughs> I, it, but it, it's so worth it. I mean, I wish I had that level of patience because it is worth it. <laughs> it feels yeah, very yeah, natural. Definitely. Mm -hmm. And you can look back in on the beavers as you exit. Is this like in their den? So cool. Oh. Yeah. It's just oh so my cool. gosh, they're they're sleeping. <laughs> oh my god, that's so cool. <laughs> this is insane. I, love it. I am. 
I am floored by all of this. <laughs> so, and then now we're coming out. So this would be the other side of Bear Mountain right here, mm -hmm. right? Love it, that door. Yeah, yeah, it's got the texture on it. So, <laughs> so th this would be the the beaver uh, entrance for the for the stuff. Weeks to prayer. Oh, okay, okay, oh, okay. okay. Yeah, that That's makes, cool. That makes sense. Um, so they would oh, use man. the the old bear um, uh, building underneath the bear mountain to get access to the actual um, beaver habitat. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then more of this over here. So well done. I love that you basically very good crowd control too. Like you can come in from either side and yes. um, nice. Okay. So remnant, where should I go from here? <laughs> um, what matter? do you guys think? Does do you guys think he should one? start from here? Or do you think he should start from like the, the plaza? Or do yeah, you think probably this is fine? from the plaza. Okay. Yeah, we'll let's cut, start from we'll the plaza. Here. I absolutely love what Remnant did with the plaza. It feels uh, so encompassing and natural. Oh my gosh, thank you. I think the the main challenge was just to make sure that it flows and it didn't look like we all separately did it. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yes, you matched it perfectly, I think. Okay, good. God more awesome rock work and and see so yeah, this is this is fantastic because you did you you blended um like the the appearance of this darker rock with the red rock too i mean that is also very common in colorado you do see a lot of uh different rock outcroppings with different colors like this so yeah and i tried to i tried to make some very fake looking forced perspective so like yeah those like tiny pine trees are supposed to be like you know yeah, pine trees off in the top. distance or yeah. something yeah love it that's definitely in that see that's that that's that planco skill coming into play here. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the mountain lion mm -hmm. yes okay. and then um haribo did and maybe christina too did like an awesome job with the mesh uh okay. structures yeah so uh I, I was doing research <laughs> and I found out that uh, actually cougars can jump six meters up oh, from wow. just a sitting position. Yes, yeah, so obviously it needed uh, some kind of netting mm -hmm. and uh, Herbo <laughs> tried to do like the roof thing too. Uh, but uh, Mesh and Planet Zoo is uh, very uh, uncooperative and yes. it was disappearing very quickly uh, so okay. it just looked very, very strange. So yeah. we come up with this, uh, this solution. And unfortunately, it takes uh, some part away from the wonderful job Raman did on the exhibit itself. <laughs> it's okay. It, lo it looks very realistic, so. <laughs> it had to be done. Yeah, yeah that's, no, that's kind of how it is. Yep. Yeah, same thing is true for, like, over where the snow leopard is. I mean, completely in completely enclosed and, you know, even did a great job there. But, the you know, the mesh just kind of takes away from it. and. You know, this yeah. this is perfect though. This is like I think in the the San Diego Zoo, this is kind of how it is, right, Remnant? Yeah. Where you, you basically <laughs> kind of a reference a, I used. Yeah, like you basically have a glass a glass area where you can get a little bit of view in, but other than that, you're kind of mm -hmm. looking behind the mesh. Right. Yeah. Maybe maybe change the light. Oh yeah. There's a better a light, light I think, to, to three ish. Three ish. So, All right. So we have so we have the uh, the shadow on the glass. There we go. Perfect. Nice. Yeah, again, beautiful uh, habitat design. I'm so glad you offered to help. <laughs> this looks so good. Well, and so so with this, since it's like a the glass view is very removed from the mesh view, I wanted to make it look like you've got like a closer zoomed in view. So so that force perspective isn't there anymore with mm. like the with like the small pine trees at the top. You're kind of more. Oh, smart. It's like a more composed view. Yep. Yeah, yeah that, like, that's what I love. Wherever you go uh, on those viewpoints, you you all the time you have uh, the feeling that you are basically on another um, exhibit. So it yes. right. always offers another um, perspective. Completely. Yeah, this you kind of like traveled up the mountain and like you know you're just here now. Yeah, mm -hmm. this feels much more intimate compared to the other the other view mm -hmm. here on the other side of this rock, and really smart yeah. too to like have this natural break. Um, mm -hmm. You know, like you. Because even here, even here, this all feels a lot taller. But then yeah. you you have this visual break on your eye level, 
and you come mm-hmm. under this awning and yeah it feels like you're in this room almost with yeah um with the the cougars so mm-hmm. it's really cool god you're all y'all are good at design <laughs> 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 this is i mean I, uh, go ahead sorry oh no i i just always love like layering mm-hmm. so anytime i can add like a foreground and like you know that middle ground and then the background it's it's really fun to create those those visual layers yeah I think that's a lot of, you know, something like that alone, I know I don't really pay that much attention to, but it's mm-hmm. even even if people just implemented that design element of of having, you know, foreground, middle ground, background, mm-hmm. um, probably amp your habitats up to, you know, 10. <laughs> yeah. It's really good. Thank you. And then this, their den where they sleep in, I'm assuming, or like yep. it's supposed to be, yeah. Yeah, they, they do sometimes. Nice. Beautiful. It almost feels like there is no glass and yeah. kids yeah. just crawl there <laughs> and get eaten. <laughs> yeah, it does. It's crazy. Yeah, it's like perfect lighting in there for the glass there. And then you get another good look here unobstructed I of love the, it. the links. Yeah, this is a very like composed uh, you know, view in as well. I just like wanted it to kind of look like a picture. like a picture. <laughs> In the back, you can so you can see the the cave I was talking about. So mm-hmm. it, it blends in. Oh, the that goes into the that's the mm-hmm. interior of the the peaks to prairie. Cool. I'm gonna sneak through the glass here because I want to see it without the <laughs> without the film. Oh God, this is so pretty. <laughs> same thing. You same vibe in here too, right? Like it's more intimate. You feel closer. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Really cool. And Remnant was very careful with foliage and height because we asked him to uh, preserve this tiny, tiny bit of natural light you can see on the inside of the pavilion. Mm. Uh, yeah. So he very carefully placed everything to, yeah. to that. <laughs> Couldn't block any light. God. Yeah. All of this is amazing. I'm like so blown away by all of this. Like I, f- I feel like now the rest of the zoo i gotta <laughs> i gotta go back and like <laughs> make no. things look nicer this is so good uh, cool well i'm gonna um anything else at peep view if not i'm gonna exit and go take a look at the uh think, high school think we're good okay cool no let's have a look from the bird view. oh at uh, where no from the bird view oh. yeah let's let's fly oh, okay oh, cool. Let's fly. cool cool okay, cool okay, cool uh three look okay yeah let's look up in the air here God, that's so cool. And then the skylights. God, that's cool. That looks so good. Like if that's yeah. not a like one for one of <laughs> of the concept, I don't know how anyone could get any <laughs> closer. That's so good. And then this is And also it's not even a huge area. Yep. Yeah, that's a really good thing to point out. Like com- It's like a couple of restaurants. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, scale was something that um, I I will say, I, I feel like I did a good job from the very get-go of being very intentional yeah. about scale yeah. um, in this project. And and so I'm, that's another reason why, you know, I've been careful about who I've asked to come on because it's very easy to start to build out of scale and, right. you know, because the game itself wants you to. Um and so the you know the fact that you're able to get so much in such a small area um, looks amazing. Yeah. God, so cool. Ah, so close to being done too. <laughs> <laughs> so all that's left that here tweet. is uh, peaks to prayer or not peaks to prairie, uh, p- uh, primate panorama over here. Mm. I am going to be doing a little bit of work to some of the stuff that uh, that Lion did. You know, some of the interiors weren't done and I might have mm. to tweak this hippo habitat a little bit. And then there is one, um, another historical building that I have to put in here um, as well. And it's actually going to be the new bird house for the zoo as a part of the plan. So um, oh, cool. And then, yeah, let's go. Oh, my God. So, freaking um, gorgeous <laughs> <laughs> thank you I mean um, I didn't I wasn't too close to the reference um, because we, we talked about it this thing is huge right so yes yeah um, I left out <laughs> basically the, the all the back of the building well this would have been the original structure so you can see like the you know 
very much the original structure in reality and i can show pop you know pop up a, a google earth view of it but there's clearly been additions on yeah. it like it goes all the way back into here yeah that's the um, whole, whole compass and it's, it's it's huge so and to to get it um in relation to the skyscrapers is hard enough so yes um, yeah right maybe God, maybe uh, those skyscrapers can be put more to the back even yeah, now that we can, now that we can with the um, the free build, put these outside of the the zoo boundary. That's probably what I'll end Which up is so cool. doing. Is and I yeah. I'll probably have to elevate them a little bit because I still yeah. want to preserve some of the views yeah. of the skyline that are that inside about, of the zoo. Yeah, I was about to say that it's uh, very hard then to have them in every satellite where you want right. them. Right, right, <laughs> but um, maybe you can manage it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll figure out a way to, to make it work. All right, so Christina out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea how you did this. So I knew I knew asking you to do this was um, kind of a dick move, but I knew, if, I knew if anyone was able to, it would be you. And so, so for reference, uh, Lion made this incredible new logo for Tivoli Zoo, which I absolutely love. I was really struggling on how to get it to work on the structure here um, and also over here. Um, so here's right. the original uh, color scheme that um, Lion did, which I still like, but the problem is so much of the branding in the zoo is is more in this orange, green. And I mean, and right. these are more accent colors um, for a lot of the branding. So I, I was trying to find a color scheme that worked and I was struggling with this green background. Um, and so I asked Christina if she could make this 3D with no background. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's insane. Yeah. Freaking crazy. <laughs> Amazing job. So I can't wait to light this as well. Like I'm going to try to cool. do some really cool like backlighting at night on it. Yes. Um, and uh, and one of the reasons too, again, these these are showing their age as well, but this is the kind of signage that is more and more common these days where it's, you know, these 3D letterings mm -hmm. that are not, yeah. uh, you know, just a flat sign. And so um, it's another reason I was struggling to, to place the, the flat <laughs> version of this. So um, thank you so much for making this a reality. It looks amazing. So cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'm guessing art shapes, and I know these are hinges, but or not art no, shapes. No, art uh, shapes uh, are too giant pieces. for this. Uh, yes, it's uh, hinges for all the framing of it, and two uh, different oh pieces God. to yeah make the actual. Yeah, you, wow. you should not have more than two of this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, Look at that! I swear! I she swear! Even has I the use... opening of the eye. Look at that! <laughs> yeah, but. Uh, I swear every piece used uh, consciously and there is no piece which can be deleted just because it's there, it's too many. Every piece is used because it needs to be used. Oh, so wow. it is not very light on pieces, but it had to be like this. I necessary. Yeah, I promise you there's about a million other things I would delete before I change that at all. So. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> uh, awesome. Cool. Well, let's go back over to the plaza here. Um, and this is where we'll end. So yeah, so thank you guys again so much for uh, this incredible, incredible work. I mean, I'm uh, I'm blown away. I mean, and I obviously had high expectations. I've seen what you guys can do. Um, so, and just, just for reference, are you guys gonna be doing more stuff on YouTube? Or yeah. like, I know you have your Copenhagen project. There's videos of that, obviously. Um, not build videos, but like tour videos, right? I have, I yes, have a... I'm dying to or go like back. like a cinematic. Yeah, I don't know yet what 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 what's gonna happen with Copenhagen, but um, there are some other things. Well, I want to go back. <laughs> <laughs> there are some other things in the in the making, so uh, there, there's gonna be stuff on YouTube. Cool, yes. good, good. Nice. Well, I will link to uh, to channels below for uh, everyone. And uh, it, I mean, if you're watching this, you already know um, Remnant as well and the Balboa Zoo project and then your joint project with Josh. Um, uh, yes. God, I'm spacing it. I'm sorry. Uh, Twin Palms. Twin Palms. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, both of those are, are two of my favorites as well. Um, so if you're not already subscribed to any of these uh, fine creators, please go and do that. 
Um, the, this, the kind of stuff that we all do, yes, we do it for fun, but it is nice to, um, to, to be appreciated for the work that you're doing. And so please go and subscribe and like their videos and uh, encourage more of this incredible type of work. So, um, so thank you guys for everything you've done here. Um, you are welcome to be on any of my projects ever in any <laughs> time frame whatsoever. Um, and, thank uh, you for inviting us. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Um, cool. Well, thank you all for watching. Uh, like I said, I probably will break this up into two episodes. So if this is part two, thank you for watching part one. Um, <laughs> and uh, next episode will probably just be me for a change. Um, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to be keep uh, keep working on some stuff over here to finish up the African forests. And then uh, we'll move into the last area of the zoo. And then after that, it'll be all of the annoying stuff that has to be done. So, <laughs> uh, but again, thank you all for watching. Thank you guys so much for your hard work. Um, hope you all yes. enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Bye. Bye.